feels fantastic. I think I'm just over the moon that we've just got promoted, you know. I'm going to be honest with you, no one wanted playoffs, um, even the players. It was a long season last year with um, playoffs, so um, we're absolutely delighted we get our, we get our summer break off. <laughs> yeah, no, so you left it so, so late, but just talk us through what actually happened, because to be honest, I didn't see it. I was moving to get ready for the post-match. See, I cut him, whipped it top corner with me, right? <laughs> uh, no, it literally just fell to me, and there was no one around me, but I just had a good connection and put it in the back of the net. It was an open goal. Um, so the, day, the way it was going today, I thought it, it would have gone over the bar, you know. Um, nine times out of ten, Matty scores them ones where he's turned and one I'm on with a keeper, but he just thought it was one of them days and luckily it wasn't. Oh. Yeah, because by half time, you, you could have had five really, couldn't you? There were enough chances for that. Yeah, yeah, it was, it, that's what I mean. I, I thought it was one of them days. That we, we, we rolled it back two years ago, um, Mansfield at home, and we, we hit the post, we hit the bar. We had so many chances and it, I thought it was going to be one of them days again. Um, I thought it was going to be one of them days again, especially with the chances, but luckily I tell you what, we, we've done it and... Absolutely, over uh, But the agony wasn't over when the final whistle went, was it? Because you didn't know what had happened at Accrington. Jesus Christ, I'm pitching base. I thought we were already up. But um, <laughs> lucky they didn't score. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, everyone, everyone come running on like we've done it right at the final whistle. But um, we hadn't. We had to wait for a minute, and it was probably the longest minute of my life. Um, but what, what a celebration it's going to be tonight in Bristol. And it's going to be a fantastic night. It must mean as much for you as anybody, though, because you were here, you've referred to it, that match two years ago, the, the darkest day in Rovers history, and yet you've stuck with the club and now you've had two pro successive promotions. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, we always refer to me, Stan, but you've got to look at the other. There was four or five of us, you know. I don't want to take all the credit because there was four or five. The manager stayed, everyone stayed. So there, there was four or five of us, so I don't want to take all that credit. Do you know what I mean? There was five of us who stayed, or six of us. Um, so, yeah, but... It's a, what an achievement to get relegated two years ago and then come back and get back-to-back -back promotions. I don't think this club's ever had back-to-back -back promotions. Um, so it's just it's a, it's a great achievement and to put smiles on so many faces tonight. And it's just, it's, I, can't, it's, I can't even put it into words, to be honest. They say adversity makes you stronger and that seems to have been what happened when Rovers went out of the league. You've come back so much stronger than you, than you were before. Yeah, I think we always wish that when you get relegated, it's, it's how you approach it. You either go under... And, and you stay in non-league and you, you fizzle out and, and that's the end of it. But the, the group of players that the manager brought in, it, it was a group that come together um, and all wanted the same aim, is to win football matches and, and look where it's ended up. It's, we've done it back to back and it's an absolute fantastic achievement. The first half of the season, most people would have been happy, first of all, staying in the league. Secondly, perhaps making a, a charge for the playoffs. But did, when did you start thinking automatic might be possible? It's hard to say. I think as soon as we, we were fourth, around the fourth and we were one or two points off it, um, it's just natural to look at it and see, look, we're one, two points off it, so we can do this. Um, yeah, we were at that ups and downs through the season. We had a great run, I think it was February, March, where it pushed us right up there. Um, and throughout the course of the season, I think we've done very well. You know, we, we've done similar the year before. We went on a run just after Christmas to put ourselves in a great position. So um, it's just a great achievement. After the draw at Stevenage, I suspect you were all probably a little bit down and cursing Stevenage. You, little did you know that they were going to do you a huge favour today. Well, funny enough, me mate, um, we make plays for Stevenage and I messaged him last night. And I'll tell you what, I can't wait to speak to him. Who's that? Uh, Fraser Franks. And I, I, to be honest, what? Thank you. Obviously. Thank you, Fraser. Well, yeah. <laughs> obviously, it's, it was a group effort for them, but um, they've done us a massive favour today. Um, and we, luckily, we've done our job because we would have been kicking ourselves if we didn't.